In this video, we're going to go into detail about the specific individual measures that you can use against each of the sliders, and we'll do them one by one. So by nature, it's a little geeky. So the first one is engage stakeholders. Now, the off position means that only the sponsor gets a vote, needs to get engaged. It's very controversial, very typical with regulatory projects, where the sponsor, with the support of other critical stakeholders, has the right to say, I'm going to make all the decisions, I'll keep you informed, but I'm going to move through and drive this through. So sponsor rules is off. 25% means all critical stakeholders, as we defined in the early video series, must be engaged and must have their vote heard and taken into account. So that's 25%. 50% raises the risk and cost of the project because you're not only giving that voice and that engagement and ownership to the criticals, but you're giving essentials a similar right. And again, that greatly increases the cost of your comms and your change management. Over 50 up to 75, you're giving maybe half the interested parties a similar vote. And that gets really quite complex. Fully on, which I've never seen, is all stakeholders, no matter of their criticality, have to be fully engaged and happy with how the projects run. So that's the stakeholder engagement slider. The scope objective slider is very simple. Off, I've never seen. It's conceivable, but it really means that the actual sponsor doesn't care what the project does. So let's leave that as a hypothetical, okay? 25% means minimum viable product. Or if you think about it, if there's 100 requirements, you can deliver 25 of those by the deadline and the other 75% get added later. Then as you move the slider to 50%, that means 50% of the requirements must be delivered. 75% means 75% of the requirements must be delivered with 25% added later. And fully on means non-negotiable, all requirements. And as I said earlier, including those that come in during the project must be delivered for the project to be successful. The budget slider is pretty standard. Fully on means fixed budget, no more money available, don't bother coming back to the sponsor or the steer co for any funding. Fully off means that the budget is completely flexible. And while that sounds ridiculous to some people, there are tons of projects, the Sydney Olympics, other sorts of examples, where money didn't matter, other sliders mattered more. Doesn't mean to say you're not tracking the budget and reporting it, but if you blow the budget by 100%, Sponsor actually is not going to be that upset. Its project is still successful. 25% means you've got substantial room to move in the budget. And again, you've got to measure it, but you can blow the budget, for example, by 75% if you want to figure. 50% means slightly less room to move in the budget. But for example, if you blew the budget by 50%, you'd be still successful. 75% then means if you blew the budget by 25%, then you're still going to be successful. Fully on means no room to move on the budget. The time slider is similar to the budget slider. Fully on means that there's a date, a fixed date, a drop dead date that you must meet. If you miss it, significant issues will emerge for your organisation. Fully off means that your sponsor is concerned more about stakeholder engagement, for example, or really high quality, and is prepared to let you take as long as you need to get this thing done right. 25% means you've got nine months to 12 months flex to meet the requirements of the other sliders if you need it. 50% means you've got up to six months leeway before you need to go live. And 75% means you've got a month to two months flex. Like both the budget slider and the time slider, having that contingency doesn't mean to say you assume it. What it says is there's a date, there's a budget that the sponsor has set, but should other things be compromised in meeting that budget or meeting that time, you've got room to move. The 
The add value or benefit slider is really binary. This reflects the fact that most organizations are really poor at benefit realization and the overall process of benefit management. So rather than make it complex, we just simply said it's this. Fully on means that the project is justified and measured by, and these will be measured, financial benefits. Fully off means the project is being driven by non-financial benefits, such as enhanced staff experience or better client experience. And again, as we'll discuss in the tutorials around benefits, these must be measured. So in a more sophisticated organisation, you could have something like 75% means there's some leeway around how much of the financial benefits the sponsor has to realise. But to best practical purposes, treat this slider as binary. Off, non-financial, on, financial. The quality slider right, has the fully on position, which is best of breed quality. You know, really top class, zero defect, easy to use, auditable, secure, etc., etc. Really top class. Apple level, as I like to say, with apologies to Microsoft users. It's the quality to which most modern cars are built with, you know, seven-year unlimited warranties. Fully off is surprisingly more common than you'd expect. What it's saying is the sponsor wants something into the marketplace, uh, something that sort of works and is prepared to tolerate significant ongoing operational costs to fix up what you've delivered, but getting it to market getting it on time or within a budget means that you can totally compromise quality, fix it up later. As a note of caution, you better engage all those stakeholders are gonna to have to live with that. And certainly the sponsor is gonna to have to do that with you. 25% means, you know, reasonable quality. 50% means good quality. 75% means very good quality and it goes fully on. A more powerful way of understanding the quality slider we'll explore in tutorial eight where I introduce you to this quality agreement concept, which defines quality as a set of attributes, um, such as usability, flexibility, efficiency, etc. And the more of those attributes your sponsor wants, the higher that slider goes. Team engagement or team satisfaction it's a really interesting slider. It's the only one that's got a default, and the default for team satisfaction should be at 50%, which is work-life balance, okay? Doesn't mean to say the team doesn't work hard for some period, but again, the brakes come off and the accelerator comes off in another part of the project. Fully off, my good colleague, Ed Ewan, called this death marches. The team doesn't matter. Up front, the sponsor is saying, I'm gonna burn this team out they need to know it before they come into the project. You know, I might be paying them a lot of money, but the answer is that's why I'm paying them. Whether they feel good or not about the project is irrelevant. 25% means sustained periods of hard work during the project, sustained, um, with no accelerator coming off. So, you know, it's a tough project, not as tough as off means. Over 50, I've seen rarely, but over 50 means the sponsor or the organisation is prepared to make more money to give the team a better than average experience. You know, the best tools, the best equipment, the best environment, etc., etc. Fully on, you know, I would call that the Google um, or the Spotify experience. Very rare and it would cost a lot, but you're making a commitment that you want to keep this team forever and you're going to invest in them way beyond what's required to deliver the project. So there's a sort of detailed summary of what each of the sliders means by quartiles. In the next video, I'm going to give you a couple of examples and some implications that come from using the sliders.